Well, this started last night when deputies got here. There was no suspect. They were told by witnesses that the suspect ran off into the woods that way and with no clear description, they say there was really nothing they could do. That the shooting occurred over here next to these trees. A day after um, a deadly so shooting in this Puyallup parking lot and deputies don't have anyone in cuffs. Sergeant Darren Moss says it didn't have to be that way. Lot. It's just unfortunate that in this specific incident, um, we weren't able to use every single tool available to us at the time. 10:20 p.m. Wednesday, several calls to 911 reporting shots fired outside this Coles. Deputies find a young man dead in the parking lot. Are told a shooter ran east, but don't have a description. We don't know who the victim is. We don't know who the suspect is. So. We don't have probable cause when we show up. A canine unit arrives on scene, but a supervisor makes the call to not use it. Although personally, we'd feel reward from catching the suspect. We don't want any of our officers to be disciplined or fired or decertified or charged criminally or civilly um, for violating the new laws. Pierce County Sheriff's Department is now the latest to make it clear to the public that the rules are changing. Citing a new package of laws signed by the governor in May intended to limit the needless use of force by law enforcement, a byproduct of last summer's police brutality protests. Specifically, House Bill 1310, which says that law enforcement now needs probable cause before using any force. Representative Roger Goodman is one of the bill's backers. But from the majority of police agencies, particularly in my area, they say we understand the legislature's intent. We agree with the intent to use less force. Goodman says he has heard complaints, but says these bills were drafted alongside law enforcement and says many departments were already implementing these changes internally before the law was even enacted. The rules of engagement may change a little bit because when they do show up because we want to focus on de-escalation. As for Wednesday night's deadly shooting, the Pierce County Sheriff's Department is now turning to the public. If you have any information, you're asked to contact investigators. In Puyallup, Sebastian Robertson, King 5 News.